In this video we're going to look at how to make a brush monster. First we'll cover what you'll need and then we'll go on to the instructions. You will need a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, and a range of medium and long cable ties. Additionally you'll need a battery pack, a two-way switch, a motor holder, a motor, a spacer, a wheel with two small holes drilled in it, a range of crocodile clips, and a battery snap. First up, you're going to want to tie a reef knot in your battery snap cable. This will help prevent short circuiting. Next up, connect your battery snaps to the battery pack and slide your motor into the motor mount, making sure the terminals are to the sides. Once you've done that, put two batteries into your battery pack. Now it's time to test out the circuit. Using the crocodile clips, connect the circuit together in the, in the diagram as shown in the instructions. Making sure the battery pack connects to one terminal on the motor, the other terminal on the motor connects to one of the terminals on the switch, the other terminal, terminal on the switch connects to the black wire on the battery pack, completing your circuit and allowing your circle of electricity to travel between. Then give the motor a quick test. You should hear the sound of the motor turning and be able to touch the end of the motor spindle. It should have a little buzzing feeling to it. Next up, attach the counterweight. That's the wheel with the small hole drilled into it and push it onto the motor spindle, making sure it can freely spin and making sure the two motor terminals are to the sides. Once you've done that, remove the protective film off the bottom of the motor mount and stick the motor mount onto the spacer. Next, measure a centimeter in from the back of the brush and using one of the long cable ties, slide it underneath the brush through the bristles and up over the top of the motor mount to secure the motor in place, making sure that the weight at the end of the motor can freely spin. Don't worry about trimming the cable ties at this point, we're going to do that at the end. Next up, remove the washer and the little on-off part of your switch and put those to the side. Slide the switch from underneath the handle through the hole and reattach the on-off direction and the nut on the top, tightening those into place. Make sure that the contacts on the switch are at the front of the brush. Next, take the battery pack, position it just on the main body of the brush and reattach the two power wires which are going to go to the motor. Once you've done that, take one of the medium cable ties, slide it underneath the brush in the same way that you did for the motor mount, over the top and secure both the wires and the battery pack in place. Again, don't worry about trimming the cable ties, we'll come to that later. Next up, attach your crocodile clip wires, one to either terminal on the switch, making sure they're pointing backwards. Then reconnect the crocodile clips to the two terminals to complete the circuit once more. Tidy up all the wires together, bundling them up, and tuck them underneath the handle of the brush. Use the a final cable tie to secure those in place. That completes the main body of your brush monster. All that's left to do now is to take your pair of scissors and snip off the long end of the cable ties. Try to cut them as close as possible to the part where the cable tie wraps through on itself. That should reduce any sharp edges.
Turn the switch on to test the electrics of your brush monster once, making sure the wheel freely spins, and then it's done. And what would a brush monster be without some decoration to make it look like an actual monster? Taking care with the hot glue gun, add a range of decorations, googly eyes, feathers, pieces of foam, go faster stripe, whatever your imagination takes you. Do make sure that when you are using a hot glue gun, that you are pressing things on very carefully. And finally give your brush monster a bit of a test drive. As you can see, they can get up to quite high speeds once it gets going. Give, try giving him a little bit of a bump on the nose partway through his journey and see where he takes you. You might find he's got some rather fun dance moves to show you as well. And that's how to make your very own brush monster. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, good luck making your own, and thanks again for watching.